The Wakhan Corridor Pashto, Wakhan Dels Waxen Dallas, Persian, Dalan Wakhan is a narrow strip of territory in northeastern Afghanistan that extends to China and separates Tajikistan from Pakistan. The corridor, wedged between the Pamir Mountains to the north and the Karakoram Range to the south, is about 350 kilometers (220 miles) long and 13 to 65 kilometers (8 to 40 miles) wide. From this high mountain valley, the Panj and Pamir rivers emerge and form the Amu Darya. A trade route through the valley has been used by travelers going to and from East, South, and Central Asia since antiquity. Politically, the corridor is part of Afghanistan's Badakhshan province. In the 19th century, the corridor acted as a buffer between the Russian Empire Russian Turkestan and the British Empire British India. Its eastern end bordered China's Xinjiang, ruled by the Qing dynasty. As of 2010, the Wakhan Corridor had 12,000 inhabitants. The northern part of the Wakhan is also referred to as the Pamir, populated by the Waki and Pamiri people. Geography <laughs> <laughs> The Wakhan Corridor forms the panhandle of Afghanistan's Badakhshan province. At its western entrance near the Afghan town of Ishkashim, the corridor is 18 kilometers 11 miles wide. The western third of the corridor varies from 13 to 30 kilometers 8 to 19 miles in width and widens to 65 kilometers 40 miles in the central Wakhan. At its eastern end, the corridor forks into two prongs that wrap around a salient of Chinese territory, forming the 92 kilometers 57 miles boundary between the two countries. The Wakjir Pass, which is the easternmost point on the southeastern prong, is about 300 kilometers 190 miles from Ishkashim. The easternmost point of the northeastern prong is a nameless wilderness about 350 kilometers 220 miles from Ishkashim. On the Chinese side of the border is the Tashkurgan Tajik Autonomous County of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. The northern border of the corridor is formed by the Pamir River and Lake Zorkal in the west and the high peaks of the Pamir Mountains in the east. To the north is Tajikistan's Gorno Badakhshan Autonomous Region. To the south, the corridor is bounded by the high mountains of the Hindu Kush and Karakoram. Along the southern flank of the corridor, there are two mountain passes which connect the corridor to its neighbors. The Braghal Pass offers access to the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa region of Pakistan, while the Urshad Pass connects the corridor to Gilgit Baltistan in Azad Kashmir. The Dilasing Pass, which also connects to Gilgit Baltistan, is disused. The easternmost pass, as indicated above, is the Wakjir Pass, which connects to China and is the only border connection between that country and Afghanistan. The corridor is higher in the east than in the west. The Wakjir Pass is 4,923 meters (16,152 feet) in elevation and descends to about 3,037 meters (9,964 feet) at Ishkashim. The Wakjir River emerges from an ice cave on the Afghan side of the Wakjir Pass and flows west, joining the Bozai Darya near the village of Bozai Gumbas to form the Wakhan River. The Wakhan River then joins the Pamir River near Kala-i Panj to form the Panj River, which then flows out of the Wakhan Corridor at Ishkashim. The Chinese consider Chalachigu Valley, the valley east of Wakjir Pass on the Chinese side connecting Tagdambash Pamir, to be part of Wakhan Corridor. The high mountain valley is about 100 km 60 miles long. This valley, through which the Tashkurgan River flows, is generally about 3 to 5 kilometers 2 to 3 miles wide and less than 1 kilometer 0.6 miles at its narrowest point. This entire valley on the Chinese side is closed to visitors, however, local residents and herders from the area are permitted access. History Although the terrain is extremely rugged, the corridor was historically used as a trading route between Badakhshan and Yarkand. It appears that Marco Polo came this way. The Portuguese Jesuit priest Bento de Goes crossed from the Wakhan to China between 1602 and 1606. In May 1906, Sir Oral Stein explored the Wakhan and reported that at that time, 100 pony loads of goods crossed annually to China. There were further crossings in 1874 by Captain T.E. Gordon of the British Army, in 1891 by Francis Younghusband, and in 1894 by Lord Curzon, early travellers used one of three routes. 
A northern route led up the valley of the Pamir River to Zorkal Lake, then east through the mountains to the valley of the Murgab River, then across the Sarakal Range to China. A southern route led up the valley of the Wakhan River to the Wakjir Pass to China. This pass is closed for at least five months a year and is only open irregularly for the remainder. A central route branched off the southern route through the Little Pamir to the Murgab River Valley. The corridor is in part a political creation from the great game between the United Kingdom and Russian Empire. In the north, an agreement between the empires in 1873 effectively split the historic region of Wakhan by making the Panj and Pamir rivers the border between Afghanistan and the Russian Empire. In the south, the Durand Line Agreement of 1893 marked the boundary between British India and Afghanistan. This left a narrow strip of land ruled by Afghanistan as a buffer between the two empires, which became known as the Wakhan Corridor in the 20th century. The corridor has been closed to regular traffic for over a century and there is no modern road. There is a rough road from Ishkashim to Sarhad e Broghill built in the 1960s, but only rough paths beyond. These paths run some 100 kilometers 60 miles from the road end to the Chinese border at Wakjir Pass, and further to the far end of the Little Pamir. Jacob Townsend has speculated on the possibility of drug smuggling from Afghanistan to China via the Wakhan Corridor and Wakjir Pass, but concluded that due to the difficulties of travel and border crossings, it would be minor compared to that conducted via Tajikistan's gorno badakhshan Autonomous Province or through Pakistan, both having much more accessible routes into China. The closure of the Afghan Chinese border crossing at the Wakjir Pass, on the east end of the Wakhan Corridor, has left the valley bereft of trade. The government of Afghanistan has asked the People's Republic of China on several occasions to open the border in the Wakhan Corridor for economic reasons or as an alternative supply route for fighting the Taliban insurgency. The Chinese have resisted, largely due to unrest in its far western province of Xinjiang, which borders the corridor. In December 2009, it was reported that the United States had asked China to open the corridor. See also Wakhan Wakhan District Little Pamir Great Pamir Wakjir Pass Durand Line Mount Imian Topic References Topic Citations Topic Sources Shirani, M. Natsif. The Kyrgyz and Waki of Afghanistan, Adaptation to Closed Frontiers and War 2nd ed. University of Washington Press. ISBN 978-0-295-98262-5. External links CIA Relief Map Wakhan Development Partnership, a project working to improve the lives of the people of Wakhan since 2003. We took the high road in Afghanistan National Geographic November 1950 story of the first modern crossing of the Wakhan Corridor by Westerners. A short walk in the Wakhan Corridor, article by Mark Jenkins in the November 2005 issue of Outside Magazine Wakhan and the Afghan Pamir, in the footsteps of Marco Polo, brochure of the region by Aga Khan Foundation.